Hello everyone, I'm here again and welcome you in the third part of the literature story, Educating Mother. In first video of this series, means this lesson, we saw the summary. In the second one, we had the thorough reading and understanding of the lesson. Now it is time to check how much we have understood from this story. It means exercise time. But before we start the exercise, there is one activity in the beginning of the chapter in get started. So before we start the exercise, let's have the warm up with the activity. The first activity given here is the family tree. Means here uh, each family is different in its own way. Fill up this web chart and compare it with other charts. What makes your family different? Right? This is the time where you are with your family members, with your parents, all are together. So how do you feel with them? Here is the chart. Let us see what activities are there and how you will write it. The upside first is given meals eaten together. So when you are eating the meals, means the breakfast, the lunch, the dinner, when you are eating, so how many of you eat together, right? Means who join you, your father, mother, sister, how many of you sit together? Second is shared activity. What activity you do shared means together. It's in this time, when you are at home with your uh, family, so what activities you all do together? Do you cook with your mother? or helping your father in doing some activity. So like that. Next is what binds families together? What is the reason that you all enjoy yourself together with your family? So three aspects of this thing you have to write. Then places visited together means how many places you have visited, how many uh, tours you have done together with family. And you have enjoyed a lot. Three you have to write. Three columns are given but how many you have done, how many you remember, which were the most uh, memorable that you can write here. Relatives, how relatives are playing important role in your family means who are the close relatives and uh, how they are attached to you and your family. So this activity you have to write in the notebook. Now. Let's move forward, forward with the exercise. Here there is the exercise, understanding the text. First question is of MCQs. Tick the correct, the most in, in, uh, appropriate answer. So we have to tick their columns are given here. I'm reading the first one. The narrator was telling stories to. To whom the narrator was telling the stories? So here answer D is correct one. Venku, Ambu, Ramu and Janki. All four children were listening there. So that is the correct answer here. Second one. Ambu loved to read. So what kind of stories did Ambu love to read? So here four options are given. Thriller stories, uh, thrillers and romances, fairy tales, uh, stories like the ones her mother was telling them and Anything she could find. So these are the four options. First option, thrillers and romances is the correct answer. Third one is children enjoyed listening to. Listening to what? Four options are there here. So in that one, more than mother's version, they like the story of Ambu's version of Goldilocks. So option B is the correct answer. In fourth one, the sentence, the little ones were drinking in the words with O means. O means means here when she is telling the story of the Goldilocks in a thrilling way, like a murder mystery. And at that time they are listening very consciously means they were enjoying the story. Answer A is the correct answer. So these are the MCQs. Let us see the next question B. Take the correct at the statements that are true. So here the statements are given. Venko was a 12 years old boy. So he was 
three years old boy. So first statement is wrong, falsehood. The children did not interrupt the narrator. Whole story is on the interruption of the children. So definitely it is wrong statement. Ambu was the narrator's niece. In the introduction of the characters we have seen, Ambu is 12 years daughter of the narrator. The next is Ambu began to tell the children her own version of Goldilocks in the before statements we saw it. It is correct one. The narrator tried her best to tell the children a story. Definitely the narrator tells many stories means she tried to entertain by telling the many stories she was interested in. So that is the true statements. Let us see the next one. C answer this question. Questions are given here. Here on your screen. Why did Ram think that Goldilocks had a weight problem? Because when the narrator started, she said that she was uh, going on a long walk. So, Ramu thinks that she might have the weight problem. Then next question is, what made Janki think that Goldilocks was a story about a girl who lived very long ago? So, Janki thought because when she is told that, um, she is telling that uh, couldn't she make a call and she is told that it was the time where the cell phones were not available. So she come to know that it was really very old story where the cell phones were also not available. Why did Ambu think that Cinderella was an idiot? So she thinks that she could escape from the stepmother and could get educated, could get a job instead of suffering and waiting for the Prince Charming to come to take her out of that uh, condition, that pathetic condition. Next is, uh, what according to Ambu was, uh, would have happened if the children had mistaken a wolf for their grandmother. So Ambu smarted and told that mother, if we would have uh, mistaken, Grandmother with wolf. So definitely wolf might have spared us but grandmother definitely would have eaten us all. So she said, said like this. Why did Janki ask whether Jack used a genetically modified seeds? So Janki asked that because the explanation came that uh, the seed grew in a tall tree, tall plant over the night means within the night in the morning there was a big or uh, tall tree so that's why she asked that was it the, the genetically modified some hybrid type of seed or what next is why do you think the narrator fled in the end narrator fled went away because she did not have any answer of any question of the children because they find they were finding the logically uh, correction, the factual things in the stories and they all stories were heard by them all. These are the questions from C. Now D. Answer this question with the reference to the context. First one is here. Reference to the context means the paragraph is given. You have to uh, choose the, uh, sorry, give the answer according to that paragraph. I started to ignore her. There was this girl called Goldilocks. Who said this to whom? Means this statement. So narrator tells to the children or four children who are listening the story. Uh, they are uh, Venku, Ramu, Janki and Ambu. Next question is who is referred to as her? So here her means Ambu. When Ambu uh, makes the comments at that time mother said uh, nothing and then moves forward. Why did the speaker decide to ignore the person being referred to? Why she is ignoring? Because when she is asking these all things, she finds it very illogical question. That's why. Next is, humans shouldn't encroach on forest land. Who said this? Means who speaks this statement? So, Janki speaks when she is told the story of the Goldilocks. Then, 
to whom did the speaker say these words speaker means donkey and to whom means to the narrator that why do the people are going exploring that forest lands which human is being referred to here and why was the human encroaching on the forest which uh, here her means the goldilocks grandmother is referred because that speaker means janki says that she is living there in a jungle but jungle is the place where the animals live it is not a place for the humans that's why she said like this did jack use a genetically modified seed who said this to whom so here also janki says and to the narrator who was jack so jack is the protagonist the hero of this story jack and binstock why did the speaker ask this question why did janki ask that now uh, he used a genetically modified seed because in the story the explanation come that the seed grew in a big plant over the night within a night that's why she asked the question like this let us move forward with b1 think and answer so this is the uh, that uh, moral based questions let us see them first question is what do you learn about the children from the kinds of the questions they asked so here what do we understand about the children whenever they are asking a question first thing is they know all the stories that's why they ask the question second thing is they are critical all the time they put the comments on the plot or story or on the characters and their behavior so they are critic on the plots and stories by the question we can understand this thing in this story why did ambu think that the stories had a gender bias so whenever she is listening this stories she feels that uh, all the characters are the ladies means the girls main or protagonist and they all are shown here deaf means stupid ones so who has written these stories in which all the time girls are shown stupid so this is the thing and that's why she asked this thing that who has written all these stories with the gender bias these are all the exercises and we have to write in the notebook is all questions i hope you all have understood them uh, all the answers will be given means all the exercises will be given in the pdf file this all questions you have to write in a notebook you solve by yourself try to do by yourself if you don't understand you please i request you please watch that videos again and try to understand by yourself try to write the questions and answers by your own self stay happy and be healthy goodbye